I wasn't um, selected for London 2012 the home games. At the time, it was without doubt one of the lowest moments in my career. I'd been in the squad, I'd been in the mix right till the end. Uh, I was young though, I was a very young goalkeeper, but I was playing well, I was really pushing the other two all the way. Um, and in my head, I was like, I think I might have done enough to at least, well, to be the reserve keeper, the number two, which for me at that age, 24, would have been huge. At the time it was horrendous, but looking back, it was definitely the right call because I was young and I was undercooked. I think that kind of disappointment only made me go on to kind of be the keeper that I am today with a bit more determination and, and a lot more experience. I was actually very fortunate that myself and Susanna Townsend got to be part of the BOA Ambition Programme. Back then it was an opportunity for young potential Olympians, future potential Olympians, to experience the games. Um, so you got almost like your own kit, uh, not the same kit, but your own different types of kit and you got to basically go see the village, um, go meet other teams, watch some sports, Sports, um, kind of got the Olympic experience without actually being an Olympian. The crowd was huge. I'd never seen a hockey crowd like it. I didn't realise how much I wanted to be an Olympian or go to Olympic Games then. I certainly did in that moment. It was just something beyond special. What a final it was for starters. Um, it had everything. It was an unbelievable advert for hockey and for women's sport in particular from the first game to the very last game. We had a story and it wasn't just the story that was at the games, it was the story that got us there. You know, it was so fascinating, I think, for people to hear where we come from and where we have been and how we did it. Um, and yeah, essentially that's created history um, that will take some beating, like a final like that, the way it went, you know, the drama, um, the atmosphere, the shootout, everything, like it'll take some topping and I'm not sure it'll ever be done anytime soon in that way, but, um, I feel very lucky to be a part of it. When I watch the footage back, I'm like, were we actually there? Like, was I actually part of this like madness? Um, so it's very, very cool. The opportunity to play in a in a home major tournament does not come around often. As soon as I knew it, uh, we were going to be hosting, it was like, I have to get myself on that team sheet. I have to be the number one. I want to play every single game there. I want to soak up the atmosphere of every single opportunity because again, I will never play in a home World Cup ever again. To have that opportunity and to have those memories, um, I feel very fortunate to have experienced that. It wasn't quite you know, the dream tournament that we wanted, but it was still something that I'll look back on with super fond memories.